Okay, so what we have seen till now is um, we have seen an explicit way of executing a X program and we have seen implicit way of um, executing a X program. Now we will get into batch mode or batch way of uh, executing a program. How do we uh, execute an X program in batches by means of terminal monitor program? What is terminal monitor program? IPJFT01. So, we would have used this program for running yeah, uh, DB2 modules and other things also. This is basically a yeah, TSO utility programs. So, um, what we will do is, um, um, you are going to, you know, like our SysTSIN, which is, if any inputs you are giving, you have to give the data the name. Uh, in our simple Hello World program, we are not going to feed any input. So, it can be, you know, dummy. And SysTS PRT is nothing but where you will get the output. So, let us make it out, sysout equal to star. And we have to allocate a data set called uh, sysexec here so that our library will be our, our search will be looked here. So, disp equal to share ds1 equal to mutu.rex that is my source code, my, my library where I have a source. And your exec pgm should be your ikjft01 and form you code your hello or first whatever our program which we want to execute. So if we submit this, what will happen is this post will be looked up in this in this library and if it is found, that will be executed. So this is a way of uh, executing a batch program in, uh, executing a Rex program in a batch mode. So this is one way of executing, there is another way, more or less similar steps and um, data set allocation, but the utility name can be IRXJCL. So what is the difference between this, is, uh, this and two is, this is working on the TSO environment, this will be working on the MBS environment. So, um, so probably we will write one program um, uh, and we will execute in both the method to make understanding of it. Um, there is a command called you know address is there. This address, if you code like this, it will tell you that what is the active environment at that point of time. So, if we give address command in ikjft01 program as well as you know irxsjc program, we will we will know that here the default address environment is TSO. Here it is MVS. So what is the significance is uh, whenever you execute a command like you know um, like if I code something like a time in my source code say hello world this is what our first program right after that if I code something like time what will happen is the time is not a rex command. So what the rex interpreter will do is I am not able to understand the command so it will send it to the environment which is currently active. So it will send this to TSO environment. So TS, this will be executed as a TSO command. But at the same time, the same code when we are executing using IR, IR, uh, JCL, the time will go to MVS. Again, MVS also time is uh, you know not understandable command. So this command will fail. But in case of your IKJFT01 wave, the time will uh, you know you will get the time of that. You know at that time what is the time? You will get the output. The same is applicable explicit way also because explicit way also your ISPF under that when Rex is running, it is running under TSO. So, uh, you need to understand, um, you know, uh, leaving, um, you know, just a small diversion from the top topic. So, whatever the command you coded in Rex program, if it is not a Rex command, what it will do is, it will not throw any error. It will simply send it to the environment, which is default environment, which is active. So, only that environment will throw an error. So, in this case, uh, like, you know, if I code something like Mutu here, Mutu is not a valid command in Rex. So, Mutu will go to, you know, uh, your uh, TSO. TSO also cannot understand the uh, Mutu. So, it will say that RC with minus 3, which indicates that this is an invalid command in my environment also. So, we will see this, how to execute in batch way. And we will code something like that and we will see that what is happening. So, with that, you know, probably we will end this video. Okay, we will um, start Rex basics in our next video. So this is our hello world program. We will update this statement with a few more statements, a few more uh, statements. And one is current active environment. This will tell me that um, what is the environment under which uh, this Rex program is getting executed. And um, when Rex cannot understand any statements like you know time or mutu, it will send this statement to the environment which is active at that point of time. So in our case, uh, we will execute this program both um, under IRX uh, JCL as well as IKJFT01. Since IKJFT01 is a TSO environment, this time will go successfully, but Mutu will fail. But in case of IRS, um, JCL, both will fail because the environment is going to be MVS. So let's run these programs. So edit um, 
Ron is a member, I think I have prepared. Yes. So as I have already uh, shown in board, these are the data sets. So this is my Rex source data set and this is my Rex program and this is IKJP01, this is IRXSGL. Okay. So I have submitted the job and the results, you know, we have seen here. So in case of um, first, I am seeing a hello world, which is you know, IKJFT01 way. It is saying that um, backend environment is TSO and time it got and with respect to command, it is failing with the return code of 3. The return code of 3 is very common in both Rex and C list. It says that the environment is inactive. So TSO cannot understand the Mutu command. That is what it is saying. Okay. Now let's go to how uh, our other thing executed, which is um, IRX JCL. Here the active environment is MVS, so it cannot understand both time and Mutu. It failed. So this is a way you know how we can execute in batch way. I think we are good.